Hello students, this is Dr. Jonas Preda, Assistant Provost at Point Park University, and I am speaking to you today about some ideas around the pass no credit option that has been offered by the university. This is also available on the university's webpage and a whole bunch of other places, so don't feel like you have to memorize it. That said, here's going to be a rundown of how this option is going to work. First, you finish the spring semester. This point is important because you want to give yourself the opportunity to do well in as many classes as possible. This option of pass no credit covers online session two spring courses, on ground spring semester courses, pretty much any course you're sitting in a seat for or we're sitting in a seat for or sitting in a virtual seat for, this policy covers it. Once the faculty post letter grades for spring 2020 courses, you'll be able to see your letter grades the same way you've always have through point web. You may then choose to convert grades of A, B, C, or D to a pass, the P. Or you can convert the grade of a fail, which hopefully you're not getting, to an N, which means no credit. Point Park does not have a pass-fail policy here. We have a pass-no credit policy here because it actually helps your GPA. You may opt for PN for one or more courses. You do not have to opt PN for all of your courses. So if you're taking five classes and you did well in four and poorly in one, you can take four letter grades and one N in the fifth one, as an example. You will have seven days after grades are posted, that's May 1st through May 7th, to decide which, if any, letter grades you wish to convert to pass no credit. Once the decision is made and you've submitted it, you cannot change your mind, right? No backseats. If you don't want to change your grade, you don't have to do anything. It'll, their grades will just show up like they always have. Only students who want to change to a PN will need to contact the registrar and let the registrar's office know you want to go this route. We will provide all students with an appropriate form that allows you to elect the pass no credit option. And this will be available on the web. We'll email it to you. We'll make sure that there's a lot of ways for you to get this information because this is going to be an important decision for you to make. Hello students, Dr. Jonas Preda here again with some more important considerations to weigh as you decide whether to keep the assigned letter grade or switch one or more of them to pass no credit. First, neither pass nor no credit affects your GPA. While this rule seems great if you're doing poorly, it is not so great if you need to achieve a certain GPA. If you're hoping to raise your grades to get a scholarship, to join honors, to remain eligible for athletics, P and grades won't help. Second, if you're on academic probation, P grades do not raise your GPA. Third, it is unclear how P and grades are going to work for graduate and professional school applications. Many graduate schools and professional schools these are things like law and med schools, might calculate applicant undergrad GPA themselves, converting a grade of a P to a 2.0. Some do not. If you are thinking about applying to graduate or professional schools, check in with the graduate schools where you are applying to see how they're going to handle the PN grade. PN grades are historically difficult to transfer. If for some reason you're planning on transferring, check with the institution where you are transferring to to confirm it will accept these credits. Last, the process for opting to take a PN grade is up to you as the student. The default setting for your faculty and the registrar is that you are accepting the letter grade. You need to opt in to the PN grade. That's an important distinction to make because we want to give you, as the student, the opportunity to make this decision on your own. Thank you.